Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a friend of mine on Facebook uh, found this site. I don't know how long he's known about it, but he posted the link. I'm going to post the link at the bottom of this video. But it's a box maker, like a finger jock box maker, a joint box maker. And you can change the dimension. I'm going to change it to 4x4x4. Four by four by four. I'm going to change the uh, thickness of the material to one point or point one two five. I'm going to leave it as a PDF. You can also do it as an SVG or a DXF. And then I'm going to change the option and I'm going to change the um, tab also to 0.25. And then I'm going to say design it. And it takes just a few seconds. It'll design it. It's already made in the PDF. Go right here and download it. It's going to save it. I'm going to rename it uh, box. B for video two, let's say. And then just go to Corel and open up an empty space. There's the one I just did to make sure it worked. And I'm going to right click my mouse and import. I'm going to import that box B two. There it is. And I'm going to import it. Now, texture curves, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to say OK. And then you're going to want now it's got some text in it. It's gonna, I don't have that text, so I'm gonna, it'll say it'll change it, but text doesn't really matter. And then don't move your mouse, just left click it. Now it's gonna come as a group. So go to object, group, and ungroup. And then if you look, that box is four by four. And then if we just do some measurements for the, the main concern is the thickness of the box or the thickness of the wood. So just use your parallel dimension tool and you can see it's 1.2. If we run the decimal place out, you can see it's 1.25. So that's, you know, that's probably the crucial point because all the other uh, joints are going to fit together. Now, there is probably a way to, you know, change some, some curves, but I haven't really, you know, found that yet. Uh, there's cut... I don't really understand cut, cut width, so I'm going to leave it at zero. And you're just, as always, when you're making something like this, is to test your cuts. You know, make sure they fit. And so what I would do is take, these are two different objects. What I do to test a cut, instead of wasting all this wood and time, I'm just going to take a rectangle, and then I'm going to take my spark fill tool and fill that in. And move it out. Take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in, move it out. So now you got uh, both sides of the cut. Of course, these aren't really the ones you'd want to use. Um, well, you know what it is, but it's just I picked the I picked the wrong one. Really, what I should do is make two rectangles and make a rectangle on this side. And then make a rectangle on this side. Fill in with the Smart Fill tool. Move it up. And this is a little bit confusing because of the fact that it's, this is probably the top and the, the side. But if you... Um, we'd have to turn this one at a um, 270 degree angle. And turn this one at a 90 degree angle. And then... You're going to be at a, so then you're going to left click, right click in red. Make sure it's a hairline and it is. And then just cut out these two little parts to see if they fit. I've actually, this one probably needs to be flipped, mirrored this way. And then you would put these pieces together to see if they fit. Of course, they fit on the computer, but your laser has a different curve. Every laser, every model, every brand has a different curve. Um, and it's, you know, focus is critical. So do that test cut instead of, until you, and then test those. You want them relatively tight. Um, I, I can actually get them where they press in together and you don't have to, uh, and I've got th plenty of videos on how to change it if it's not tight enough. But that's a pretty neat free uh, box maker. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.